Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle book review of The Studio. This is by Jeffrey Jones, Michael Kaluta, Barry Windsor Smith, and Bernie Wrightson. This book came out in 1979 and it's from Dragon's Dream. Now, this book has been out of print for Yonks. Been out, I don't know if they've made any other copies or if there's any. However, this one has been out of print and I didn't have a copy for ages and suddenly I saw it in a local charity shop for 50p. So I bought that straight away. And I'm super pleased because I love those artists and I wish I'd bought the book at the time when it first came out. Don't know why, I think they did a sign in or something for Bin Planet. And I, for some reason I didn't go to that. I should have picked up a copy of that sort of, but you regret those sort of things, what can you do? So there's the studio and straight away you've got here, Jeffrey Jones, Michael Kaluta, and you've got a fair decent, uh, it's probably about 40 odd pages for each of the artists. So 160 in total. So you can sort of work out 35, 40, that sort of thing. So you've got an introduction. You've got some lovely photos there of the studio with him at work, Michael Kaluta and Jeffrey Jones, etc. So there's Jeffrey Jones first. So Jeffrey Jones, lots and lots of examples of his work. There's Sleep. Now, like I said, this is quite hefty actually when you're sort of holding it for a few minutes. It's quite a sizable book on the quiet. So there, I just love that work. Just absolute despair. There's despair there. And blind narcissus. Definitely like John Waterhouse, that sort of thing as well. Lots of examples there. And then you've got Michael Kaluta. I love that as well. So Michael Kaluta. You've got examples as well there. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh. I say it is actually quite heavy. The shadow, I love the shadow. The shadow is a real favourite of mine, so that's just great. Lamont, Lamont Cranston and Margot Lane there. Illustrations, The Sword of Shazaraza, something like that anyway, 1975. But again, it doesn't give any description, doesn't give any sort of like uh, details about why the work was done, who commissioned it, all those sort of things in the background in terms of obviously the materials used, etc. It would have been nice, but Barry Windsor Smith, I love Barry Windsor Smith's work. Recently, I just bought The Monster, which is absolutely spurred, definitely worth worth checking out. I'm about halfway through it. What a wonderful read. Well, it's I don't know if about wonderful is the right word. It's certainly intense. It's certainly quite a, yeah, very different from uh, from the sort of Conan work, that sort of thing. Let's talk about Conan. There's a bit of Conan there. And you've got some more examples, obviously, of... Brilliant, that period. I just loved all that sort of work. Something I see was. Anyway. There's also, of course, Solomon Kane. I love Solomon Kane. You've got Pandora there. You've got Devil's Lake. And you've got examples, obviously, of the pencil and then also the actual end result as well. It's just glorious. Fates. Now, on to Bernie Wrightson. And there's some pictures of Bernie Wrightson there. And the studio again. God, I, thought, I must admit, I love looking at studios. I mean, they're just absolutely amazing. Seeing all that, all the reference works, all the pictures on the walls, everything, all the obviously the inks and the pens and the wow, that is something. Bernie writes and there, you've got some fine examples of. Now, there's one book I would love to get, and that's the Frankenstein one. There's an artist edition that I think came out. I would love to see an artisan edition of that one. I would definitely be getting because Frankenstein is quite hard to get the original copies. So, uh, title page for Frankenstein, 1977. Now, if that turned up in an Oxfam uh, charity shop, I would be down there straight away. I would be buying that as well. So, it's hopefully someone put a copy up, 50p. I will have that, definitely. Being a bit... I should, of course, spend more money on that sort of thing. But... Oh, just the purple pictography. Just... Glorious work all the way through this. Absolutely superb. I mean, you cannot fault the work that's in this. Just glorious. And that's it. What a wonderful book this is. I absolutely, if you can pick a copy of this, definitely worth checking out because I think the studio is to superb. And like I say, Barry Windsor Smith recently with his monster, definitely it's another volume to definitely check out. So this is totally recommended. Absolutely glorious. Obviously, a period of artwork of, that uh, was some really stunning work, so totally recommended. 